Hey guys, welcome back again. Uh, so this week I'm going to tie a basic hare's ear jig. I uh, don't know if I'm going to do a series on hare's ears or if I'm going to do a series on beginner's flies, but either way this would be my first recommendation uh, to fish and to, to tie. Um, they're fairly quick and easy, not a ton of materials. Um, so off we go. Uh, just before I tie this, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And uh, also leave a comment uh, if you tie hair's ears, variations, things you do different, let me know. Uh, also requests on flies, I'm happy to, to hear what you guys want to see, let me know. So first, it's a 450 BL jig hook in the vise. The bead on this is a 3.5mm tungsten slotted bead in copper. Uh, just changing the bead alone will change the look of this fly. I often tie these with a matte black bead uh, with no flash other than the, the wire and it looks a lot more natural, a little more subtle in the water. On the flip side you could go uh, like a silver bead which is really going to sparkle and that'll that'll completely change the look of the fly. So first thing to vary is going to be the, the bead color and you've got a whole different fly useful in a different situation. So for thread, I'm using UTC70 in grey-brown. Uh, any tan, tan thread is going to be fine. Tan, even light brown, even black, you're not going to see much of the thread in the end. Uh, another easy variation, just use bright orange thread and leave a little hot spot uh, at the front where you finish the thread. Again, very quick, easy thing. You buy one spool of thread, same materials, you have a completely uh, different fly useful in different situations. So let's start the thread behind the bead, take it to the back, I stop just before the bend. So the first material we're going to tie in is the tail. I like to use Coke de Leon for the naturals. Uh, you could also use pheasant tail, no problem. So I just, I have a cape, I pulled one of these really modeled feathers off the side. And I take about five or six fibers, so I'm just going to pull them 90 degrees to the stem, kind of align the tips, and then pull it off. And then for length, I like to go about the body, I don't like a super long tail. I'll do a pinch wrap, try to keep it right on top. Couple of loose wraps and let's have a look. So that's definitely too long for my liking. So I'm just going to grab it, slide it forward a little bit. Again, a little bit too long. That's better. So once it's where I want it, keep it on top. Take your thread all the way back up to the front of the bead, front of the hook, back of the bead. Okay, so by tying the the tail fibers in as the full length of the body, you get a, a much smoother body, so you don't have weird lumps, bumps, and transitions. So second material is going to be the rib. The rib for this, I keep it simple. I like to match the color of the bead. So copper bead, I'm using size small copper wire. Obviously gold, I would use gold. Uh, silver, you could use silver. I don't think it really matters, but it's just how I like to do it. So I'm going to stick the end of the wire in the slot of the bead and I'm going to take the wire down the far side of the hook. Okay, next, dubbing. So I'm using uh, Wopsy, this is just natural natural fur and this is light hair's mask so just like any of the flies I tie I, I like to go light on the dubbing you can always add more it's just hard once you go too thick and nice and tight especially at the back so ideally I'd like to get a, a fat carrot shape out of the body So 
So as I get up towards the top, I can kind of linger a little bit more, make it a little bit fatter. And a little bit more. You don't have to stop in the exact right place when you're doing the body dubbing. You can bring the collar back and start it pretty much wherever you want. I'm going to go even a little bit more. That's better. Okay, so once the body's dubbed, I like the shape, I like how much I put on there. I'm going to take my wire forward. So take your time when you, especially looking on Instagram and stuff, the first, the first thing that pops out is always the wire. Did they, did they do it even? Does it look nice? There's really, you're doing the same motions to evenly space it or to blast it up real fast and have it look funny. A little bit of extra effort and time, your fly is going to look a whole lot better. So I've got four or five even wraps up the body, and now we're going to do the collar. So I've left myself a little bit of gap right at the front there, and I'm going to put a squirrel collar on this guy. So if you've seen my other nymph videos, you know I like to split the thread. Uh, when I'm doing squirrel, I do not split the thread, so I'm going to do a little dubbing loop. And on these small flies, I really like using just a shepherd's hook dubbing twister. So I'm going to make a loop. So the hook goes on the thread. I double the thread. One wrap. And then I go around my loop twice. And then I advance my thread to where the loop is going to end once I'm done wrapping. And then I'm just going to hang that there. So I'm using SLF Squirrel. This is also the natural color. It's just natural fox squirrel. It's super spiky stuff. It's really good for, for collars. So I'm just gonna take a little pinch. This is way too much. We don't need this much, but it's what came out. So I'll take about half that and I'm just really roughly gonna try to align it a little bit. see I've just got a bunch of loose dubbing now I'm gonna put this in the loop and then just spin it So again, this is like maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half loop. It's way more than we need. But because it's in a loop, we can cut the excess. So Normally I would brush this. My brush is at my other desk. I don't do these videos where I actually tie my flies. The lighting is much better here. So I'll pick it out like that. But you get the idea. Nice spiky little noodle and now I will take some wraps and that's about two wraps I use maybe a third of the overall dubbing I had and that's plenty so I will trap the noodle and cut the excess Okay, so we can literally just finish here and because this is just a really basic hair's ear and the first in the series, this is where I will stop this fly. So I'm going to take my crazy glue, put a little bit on my thread, maybe a half, half inch 
and I'm just going to do four or five turn whip finish. Okay, and if any of these fibers are super long, you can trim them, but to be honest, if they're not too far past the tail, it just helps with that tapered look uh, when it's wet. So there you have it. Really basic squirrel collar, hair's ear, nymph. Thanks for watching. Again, if you made it this far, please uh, like the video and hit subscribe. And I'll uh, see you again next time. Thank you.